I'm just going to record this video of me in my last minute as a teacher. Bill Mathis taught ninth grade English for several years until he finally quit last fall. I think I had been debating quitting about a year before, but COVID really just put the nail in it for me. He switched from teaching students to working in Michigan's newly legalized cannabis industry. So this is all of our gummies over here. This is all of our wax concentrates we have over here. He says he quit because he was worried that he'd get COVID and transmit it to his parents or girlfriend who has lupus. COVID is not the beginning of anything. It is just the harshening of, of, of every way that these doctors, nurses, you know, teachers, social workers have been treated. Elizabeth Linos is a behavioral scientist at the University of California, Berkeley. Before the pandemic in 2018, one in five American surveys said they were burnt out at their jobs. About half of public servants, including teachers, firefighters, police, government, and social workers said the same. Researchers at the University of California, Berkeley say anxiety and burnout has gotten even worse since the pandemic began. And now all um, our recent studies on health workers and other frontline workers suggest that burnout is increasing, anxiety is increasing, and so we expect that the rates are going to kind of stay high for, for public servants for a while. She says new evidence suggests that if workers have a strong social support network, a good relationship with your supervisor that provides feedback, and a strong sense of belonging at work, then those things can mitigate the effects of burnout. It's okay if you need to seek help. It doesn't mean that you're a weak person. It just means that you've seen some rough events in your life and you need you need help in processing those events. Sterling Heights, Michigan Fire Chief Kevin Edmond agrees. His team has been face to face with COVID positive individuals and life or death emergencies. Although Mathis is already making more money working and shipping at a cannabis company than he was teaching, his heart still remains with his students. That's the only thing that would bring me back to teaching is if like the things happened that needed to happen. Class sizes were reduced. Teachers were given more freedom. Um, pay was increased. I'm not thinking, and, and I'm not saying I have to make $100,000 a year. Now, there is a hotline for frontline workers. It's called For the Front Lines. It's set up as a 24-hour resource for other health care and essential workers. All you have to do is text 741741 for free crisis counseling. Rudy Bay.